What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction, Kaiju number eight, episode three. I am so excited for this. One, because I feel so much fucking better from last week when we watched the last episode. Two, this show is fucking comedy, bro. This show is hilarious. I was not expecting this show to be this funny, but when I was like watching it back while I was editing episode two and then like making the clip and whatever that I uploaded to my respective social media, I was like, bro, this fucking dude Kafka is so funny. And just the like comedic relief in this show, because obviously the show isn't centered around comedy. It's centered around Kaiju, the monsters, Kafka becoming a Kaiju. That's the whole like real thickening of the plot, right? But the comedic relief in the background, which sometimes in shows is some of the best shit ever. Oh my fucking God, I love it. It's giving me the same sort of level of comedic relief that I feel when I watch One Piece. One Piece's comedic relief is top fucking tier. It's not a comedic show. It's not supposed to be straight up just a comedy. It's a show about pirates, adventuring. You're supposed to be going on a journey saving people fighting the world government the corrupt world government that's what the show is right but the comedic relief within the show oh my god some of the best you will laugh the, some of the hardest you've ever laughed in your life watching that shit and that's the same sort of vibe i get watching this kaiju number eight is definitely fucking hilarious you can just tell like with the interactions with certain characters the main character himself kafka is fucking funny as shit uh, especially since like there, it's kind of a trope that he's an older person, you know what I'm saying? Like especially in the last episode with the blonde girl showing up, she's like, "Oh, Jisan, move your car," and he's like, "Oh, Jisan, oh, oh, Jisan, okay, all right, all right, all right." You know, I guess I'm, I'm guess I'm an old fuck now once you fucking pass thirty, but it, respectively, you know, it's relative, right? You know, everybody else around him that is, you know, taking this second part of the exam or whatever. They're probably all around more of Ichikawa's age, which is, you know, young adult. You know what I'm saying? Whereas Kafka, he's just a fucking adult. You're not a young adult anymore, bro. You're fucking, you know, above 30. So I guess that's where they're like giving him shit for it. But in terms of the other stuff, like whenever he pissed out of his nipples and shit and the way he reacted, like right before he said he had to piss, he was like, yo, bad news. Ichikawa was like, what? He's like, I gotta pee. <laughs> Like, dude, nah, it's so fucking dumb, but it's so funny, bro. Comedic relief is top tier. And uh, I'm excited to learn more about his ability in general, too, because as we've seen from what we know so far, he has super strength. He's strong as fuck. He can revert back to his normal human form pretty effortlessly. It seems like it happens like instantaneously in some moments. I don't know if that's how, uh, that's how it's supposed to be or if it's just like a animation style or, you know, decision behind the director or whatever and then also right before he had that moment where he said he had to pee and whatnot as he was running with Ichikawa there was a it looked like he was almost there was like a shit ton of kaiju like re resonating out of him or something that he couldn't control so maybe he can turn into different kaiju in this like form that we're seeing most of like that like kind of like skeleton like bluish tealish color kaiju Maybe that's like the main one, but he can turn into different ones. Maybe I'm not entirely sure, but that's what I feel like that maybe is hinting at, but that's what we've seen. And then off of last episode at the end of it, they're about to take the second part of the exam. Hopefully he passes. Cause this is where he always fails. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen because you've got to be able to use your new abilities in some form or fashion or else you're just going to fail again. Right? You failed so many times before. What's to say that you're not now if you can't use your new abilities. But if you use your abilities, as they're predicting, you're gonna fucking die on sight, motherfucker. Like you're a kaiju, and you're at large. Like people, like you, like you have a one poster, and like the news has informed everybody that kaiju number eight is still on the fucking loose, and this is the first one to ever do that. I like guess the first one to get away, and that's you, motherfucker. So I don't know, bro. I don't feel like he's gonna be able to keep this a secret for too much longer. It's just a matter of when it fucking comes out, and when they find out, and what they do after that. I'm expecting it not to be some brain dead activity. Like maybe there's going to be some people that are obviously doubtful for because it's a fucking Kaiju. Like, obviously, like it just looks like one. Right. You know what I'm saying? But valuable asset, valuable fucking asset. Somebody's got to realize like, yo, this motherfucker could be fucking huge for us. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a matter of when that happens. I don't know when or how it's going to happen, but it's definitely going to happen. So without further ado, let's get into the uh, 
yeah, well, newest episode up until tomorrow. I think there's an uh, episode four dropping tomorrow. We'll get into that. But for now, episode three, let's get into episode three of Kaiju number eight. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Kaiju number eight, episode three. Yeah, whatever the suit is, is what I'm saying. This is another thing I was talking about last episode. We've barely scratched the surface on what is possible and what is available to us in this universe. She's wearing some kind of suit that just allowed her to pick up and toss this shit like it was a fucking football, okay? So, there's one thing. In her name, Shinomiya Ichikawa mentioned that that's of an important name. And she noticed, yeah, she noticed, she picked up on him right away. She's like, did you know you smell like something? You smell like a fucking kaiju, bitch. Wait, he can do, he can have that, he has that strength in normal form? Oh my god, yo, no, that's clutch, because I was just talking about how is he going to use his abilities if he can't transform, but he doesn't have to transform, he can be, he can, <laughs> he can use his abilities, or at least his strength, in just human form, that is so fucking clutch. She's definitely confident in herself. I have a feeling there's gonna be something like this that where Kafka she's doubting him heavily, right? She's at least interested, but she's doubting him. And he's just gonna show her up and she's gonna be so like pissed and like can't understand why. Oh wait, he only did his arm, that's why. Oh, okay. Damn, bro, this is intricate. See, I was thinking he was just in his human form, and they already fucking baffled me with that. Crazy. <laughs> How are you going to if we're hiding this shit, man? This is gonna come out eventually. I just, it's. That's what's exciting is like, how and when is that gonna happen? I'm itching, I'm itching to know, because there's no way he hides this shit throughout the entirety of the show. If he does, that's crazy. There's no way, though. There's no way. There's no way. By the way, this opening is fucking gas. This shit is fucking gas. Amazing song. I'm gonna get copyrighted if I play anymore, but you know what the fuck the deal is. Yes! I love that opening. That's definitely my favorite opening so far of the season. Spring season? Kaiju number eight's got the opening, bro. I'm telling you right now. In the fitness test, and that's what he's doing right now, and he's like, why the fuck am I performing so ass? Damn, he's realizing like, yo, I'm even more, I'm even worse than I was before. <laughs> They're constantly falling back on this trope of being 30 and above. Like once you hit 30, it's over, dude. It's fucking over. 219 out of 225. Holy shit. And of course, her at five. She loves gloating about being fucking amazing. Chen. <laughs> okay, see, he was trying to be cool. He was trying to be cool. Yeah, it'd be pretty it'd be pretty disrespectful to do that. <laughs> but I should have used it, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's how you really feel. Damn right, I would've used that shit. Fuck y'all, bro. She's the one that rev is she the one that reviews these applications everywhere? Is she the one that's blocking him? Shinomiya? Oh, him. Okay. Introducing our ourselves to the class, or the cast, I should say. Shinomiya? Yeah. Age 16. 
史上最高の一体と歌われる少女の。She, he was just surprised. <laughs> Steven, that's annoying though. Like, you like you know, like, your shit, like, you know, you are the shit, and that's just like annoying. Like, how it, the arrogance part of her is annoying, you know what I'm saying? But you can't fucking, like, you can't really say shit because she's the shit, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, she gets, she gets to be arrogant because she's the shit. It's just annoying that you have to deal with that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, bet. Say less. Oh, he's the vice captain. So he, that's why he was giving him or giving uh, Ashiro the applica applications or whatever. Like she, he answers directly to her. Since so he's like basically her right hand man. Since so vice captain and shit. <laughs> wow, okay, so they're not usually actual kaiju? Because he's even shocked as fuck that that's an actual kaiju. Okay, bet. What the fuck are you gonna give us? So every member of the defense force wears this suit. That shit looks dope. Oh, it automatically accustoms to whoever body is it is that's wild bro that suit combined with fucking him being a kaiju that should be fucking insane oh and it's it's taken from fucking kaiju they're fighting kaiju with kaiju so there should be no problem with him being a fucking kaiju you know what i'm saying because that would be kind of hypocritical like you're using your fucking you're using suits made from fucking kaiju 18% 15% okay so they're strong that looks about around the average in the teens and Ichikawa is a little bit on the lower side you know what I'm saying it's usually around 20% one we're lucky to get one above 10% a year okay so there's a lot of good candidates all those cast members that we were introduced to they're like okay they're pretty dope what's what's fucking kafka oh no shinomiya 46 percent holy fuck yeah nah she's not see that's why i said she's she's allowed to be arrogant bro she like that she really is just because she knows she is that's what makes it annoying because she knows she's like yeah i'm the shit i'm the fucking shit bitch you can't fuck with me <laughs> Kafka zero. <laughs> Bro, this is so fucking embarrassing for him. Wait, has he he's never put on one of these suits before, right? Like in the past times that he's taken this exam? Oh, uh, she thinks he's ho he's holding back on purpose. Well, he is. A Honju and 36 Yoju. So Kaiju is just the general 
terminology for the monsters. But then there's classifications of them within that. Like Hanju, Yonju, Yoju, shit like that. Okay, it's good to know. We'll remotely activate the shield in your suit. Okay, if they act if they forcibly activate the shoot suit on the on their end, then you fail. Yeah, this is a test, but you're actually fucking risking your life for this shit. You can just run on the wall like that? <laughs> you barely carry the fucking gun. <laughs> Only I, the zero. <laughs> Me alone. <laughs> uh. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, so he's gonna play like the role of like su a support person, but really he can fuck shit up if he is allowed to, or able to, or has to turn into a kaiju. He has that in his back pocket, but be able to do like pl he's playing fair right now and also trying to not Gain attention to himself obviously because they would just try and kill him At least that's the first reaction if they saw him turn into a kaiju This is deep bro. I fuck. I love this. I lo I'm loving the plot already. And the characters are all interesting Hurry up! Aim for the fucking stomach! <coughs> yep, there we go. And he knows that shit because he worked, he's been working for years in the cleanup crew. Shinomiya groupie? Oh. <laughs> Vice Captain. Oh! <laughs> Sounds like an old man when he does that. Oh! Nice! Oh! <laughs> I have a feeling he's, he's gonna have to be forced to use it at some point in this episode. Ah, oh, fuck, man. See? There's nobody around, but also because like he, he's not getting any extra strength from that suit Oh, bruh, he's gonna use it. He's because he's he's like nah like I can't like this is my last chance like nah like nah Yep, because he knows he knows they're gonna put the shield up. They're like nah fuck that. I ain't failing bro. Come on You gotta take a risk. You gotta take a risk. And since she's watching, she, she should be able to- she should be able to fucking cover for you or protect you because she talked to the little girl about a good kaiju. And she knows you. She knows that you're a good person. At least back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, someone saved him? Nice. Was that fucking- was that Shinomiya? Yep, of course, bruh. See, she loves to talk her shit because she knows she's fucking, she's like that. She gets, she gets the pass. She gets the pass, even though it's annoying. That's fucking wild, bruh. Are you able to increase that as you use the suit, though? Or is that just like, that's a determined number? It's like a constant number. From the first time you try it on. Yeah, 
内臓にも損傷があるかもしれんいやまだ可能性がある限り俺は Is he gonna fucking transform anyway? He's tired of being left behind. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna fucking sacrifice it and try and turn in? Point zero one percent. It changed during the fucking final exam. Come on, Ashiro, at least looked a little amused. Come on. Ah, oh, man, I knew it was gonna end there. Fuck, bro. So good. I'm so glad I got another episode to watch like really soon, like tomorrow, because that was too fucking good, bro. That was too fucking good. Every episode of this is just oh so good. Damn, it looks like this is gonna be a fucking one season or twelve episodes because it says fucking three out of twelve. Damn, I was hoping for a twenty-four, bruh, twenty-four or, but nope, nope, nope. Too bad. Alrighty, guys, what another amazing episode of Kaiju Number Eight. That was just so much fucking fun, dude. I mean, this guy Kafka is fucking comedy. Everybody around that we've met so far is, seems like a pretty cool, reliable cast. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of fucking star players in this lineup for the second part of the exam. Or at least, you know, them checking out their fitness and altitudes to the suits and whatnot. There's a couple people that are above 10% for their unleashed power in the suit. Which is pretty rare, apparently. It's, uh, you know, um, she, the lady that was behind the computer and, you know, recognizing all of these values and tests and whatnot. She mentioned that, like, okay, it's pretty rare for, you know, to have multiple candidates above 10% uh, in, j in just one year. So the fact that we heard that, I was like, okay, yeah, there's, like, a, definitely a couple motherfuckers here that, like, you know, are pretty fucking strong. Like, you know, a little bit better than average. Whereas Ichikawa, he's more around the average mark, you know what I'm saying? Or, or a little bit, maybe maybe a little bit more less than average, but I, th I feel like he's, like, the perfect norm, you know what I'm saying? Like, right around 8 10%, because, like, that lady said, like, it's rare to see above 10% multiple of them in a single year um where like you know the most you could expect what they usually said is like around 20 percent for a trained individual but then we see shinomiya and she's at fucking 46 percent all fuck already i mean that girl is crazy that's what i'm saying her personality may be annoying and it's mainly annoying because like it's directed towards the main character who like who like we're like trying to rally behind because we're like the ones watching the show and we're introduced to him first and rooting for him obviously so that's why like you know her personality is kind of annoying annoying or it seems like that you know because like she's constantly fucking like put like you know like kind of making fun of him or like just like kind of laughing in his face for him being weaker or her just showing off you know what i'm saying like she's very arrogant and she gets that pass she's able to get that pass because she really is the shit bro it might be annoying but she allowed to talk her shit until said otherwise somebody fucks her shit up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it might be a little bit annoying, but she de she deserves every bit of shit talk that she spews out of her fucking mouth, bro. So yeah, she's fucking crazy, 46%. And then Kafka, obviously, you know, even in the fitness test, like he hasn't really been cheating much. Like he used his ability slightly in the very beginning of the episode just to fix his van. That was it though. And then what's it called uh they start the exam and it, the first part is just like fitness aptitude like tests you know what i'm saying like aptitude is like kind of like sort of a thing where like you either have it or you don't fitness is literally just like yo like you gotta you you're, you're, you're testing like how often you exercise are you you know fucking in shape are you out of shape are you around the middle of the pack whatever he's pretty much towards the bottom of the fucking pack and he didn't use his fucking you know kaiju abilities or anything or transform because that would be unfair but he was saying after like man i should have just fucking used it like fuck dude because he's like towards the bottom but then they have the aptitude test and you know he's the only one of course that has as zero percent and as the proctor's explaining like yeah you know i've never seen a zero and then boom kafka's the one that's a fucking zero so he can't make use of the fucking suit literally at all so that, that means he can barely do anything else either like he can't even carry the rifle because the rifle is so fucking heavy to be able to carry the rifle alone, you need to have the special suit because that gives you the strength to be able to carry the fucking thing. So that just goes to show how heavy it is and why it probably needs to be heavy is to be able to take out these fucking kaiju because they're that fucking beefy and fucking, you know, whatever, strong. 
So yeah, he has zero percent, and then they start the final test, which is literally taking out kaiju. And you know, uh, there's a drone constantly following you, so it's a matter of like testing like what you can do in uh, different situations. Like, are you just taking shit out, or it, it tests your adaptability? Like, sure, you're gonna be on the offensive sometimes, but sometimes you gotta think about helping your teammates or helping your you know comrades, or whatever support tactics and then also like defensive tactics like just helping people out or or maybe having to reposition or you know whatever there's so many different things that go into a combat scenario especially against these monsters so it's testing a little bit of everything and so it's not necessarily like okay who can kill the most like no nah. sure that is a factor and it definitely shows off that shinomiya is fucking her like she is fucking her but multiple like adaptations to what you're able to do in that scenario uh in just like a battlefield is what is being tested is like what can you bring to the table as long as you're not completely fucking useless because obviously the, the worst case scenario in any of these situations is you fucking die and nobody wants anybody to die so what can you do to be useful what can you do to help out what is your specialty you know there's so many different things that can happen on the battlefield so they're not just testing like oh who can kill the most that's clear so yeah, we see Shinomiya being an absolute badass. She's taking things out, no fucking problem. Other people that are around the middle of the pack, they're taking them out, but not as badass as her. Not as quickly as her, obviously. Kafka, he decides, like, okay, well, I know what I can do. I can support people. And he knows a lot about Kaiju since he's worked in the cleanup crew for a long time. So he's like, yo, aim at, the aim at their stomach. It's weak there. Helped out that one dude that's, like, you know, around the top of the class or whatever the fuck. But yeah, has the knowledge about Kaiju and then also is able to you know um help out and support in, in different ways as he was trying to continue to do but then he gets hit injured a little bit it's starting to look bad starting to look like he's gonna have to put up the shield the proctor's gonna have to put up the shield to protect him he's gonna fail he's like no i can't and then shinomiya comes in and saves him last minute when i was thinking it might be building up like oh shit he's gonna have to transform but no shinomiya saves him once again they don't put up the shield he hasn't failed yet but he's still advised or recommended by the proctor to just quit because you obviously are not really holding your own and it's still risky like those shields are not perfect you know what i'm saying and he's already injured you know what i'm saying most people that'd be getting injured like that they'd be like oh fuck take me to fuck take me to the hospital you know what i'm saying but like this is his last chance like he's trying to put everything he has into this so he tries his hardest to stand the fuck back up and when he does that aptitude changes from zero to point zero one just barely changed but it fucking changed and that's so fucking dope and I don't know if that's a normal occurrence. Like I said, I was questioning if this is a constant number. Maybe it was mentioned and I wasn't paying attention to the subtitles or something. But if that's able to be increased as you work hard and train more, that'd be pretty cool because I'm assuming Shinomiya, I mean, I'm assuming you could reach all the way up to 100% or some shit. I mean, Shinomiya is already at 46% and she's only fucking like, what, 16, 18, some shit like that. So she should be able to fucking uh, go get stronger i would assume right and then that percentage would go up and you would be more you know you'd be able to use the suit even better i would assume that's a thing but i don't know we're gonna find out next episode and see what the fuck else, else happens too because it's all it, i keep on saying this it's only a matter of how and when his fucking secret is gonna come out it's that's literally the only thing it's just a matter of how and when because it, there's no way he can hide it forever. Like he's got to use it. Cause like, why wouldn't you use it when you have your own way to fight? Even though people are gonna question it and doubt it and be probably you know scared because of their ignorance and fear because of what they associate it with and already know about kaiju. You know what I'm saying? That's the classic response. They're gonna try and kill you. But there's gotta be some level-headed people that realize, okay, we can, this sounds crazy, but we can have a kaiju on our side. It's just a matter of how and when that happens. So, amazing fucking episode. I'm loving Kaiju number eight. This is so fucking good. Can't wait for the next one, which is hopefully tomorrow. And yeah, I, I'm itching for more, bro. This is a really, really good show. Three episodes in and I'm fucking locked. This is really good. So yeah, that's gonna do it for me. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below, comment, subscribe for new, hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping. I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.